Eglinfield, Florida, B-17s are prepared for the launching of jet bombs. Reinforcing the wing is necessary to support the launching equipment and bomb. The changeover can be made in approximately 110 man hours. In addition to the standard shackles, an emergency release is provided by an explosion device. A control panel located in the cockpit governs the starting and launching of the jet bomb. The performance of the B-17 with the bombs externally hung is only slightly reduced and there is no noticeable effect on the plane's maneuverability. At air speeds of 200 miles an hour or more, the jet engine is started. After the engine runs for 50 seconds, the bomb is launched. The JB-2 drops approximately 500 feet and levels off on its preset altitude. Flame and fuel sometimes pour from the jet opening when the mixture is over rich. Some of the bombs were lost because of jet engine starting failures due to leaky valves. A new valve is now being procured which will overcome the difficulty. Otherwise, the tests were considered successful. Ever alert to maintain superiority in aerial warfare, Wright Field Laboratories are constantly probing and developing new ideas in aviation. 